So in this video, I just want to share my experience with my favorite roller camera bag that's been with me for almost 10 years, and at the same time, show you what's in it. So hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So before anything else, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel and would want to learn more about off-camera flash photography, then this channel is for you. So you might want to consider subscribing and while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to see some of the images that I've created, you could always follow me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, so let's just dive right in. This is the bag, oh, it's heavy. This is the bag that I am talking about. This is my Think Tank Foresight. Now, it's been with me for over 10 years, well, approximately about 10 years. And one thing that I love about this, uh, well, about this company is that initially, I really didn't like it too much because the original wheels were made out of plastic and it wasn't nice, meaning it didn't roll as well as the navigator. So I would use a navigator also together with this one. However, they did decide to replace those wheels with this one. And these are rubber wheels. And the moment that I replace it with rubber wheels, that was it. This has been my bag that I would take anywhere and everywhere. Okay, so what's in it? Basically, this one is a roller camera bag. As I said, it, it has four wheels, it's a four side. So it's very easy for you to really bring around. You don't have to pull it, you just roll it. All right, so here's what's in my bag. Now, a lot of things have changed actually on what's inside my bag because of this pandemic. And of course, the pivot to what I am doing now, which is content creation. But of course, I am still a photographer. So a lot of these things double up as video and photo equipment, right? So let's start off with the cameras. I have one. This is my Sony A7R Mark IV with this one, the 35 millimeter 1.4 GM lens. Then I have another camera here. This is another Sony A7R Mark IV, this time with a 50 millimeter 1.2 GM lens. Now, those, these two cameras I use whenever I am shooting videos. So depends actually, I use it also for photo and video at the same time. So you see, that's a beautiful thing about these Sony cameras. You could use it for anything. Now this is my main camera. And of course it's another A7R Mark IV, but this time you see it has a cage by small rig. The small rig cage allows me to attach all the peripherals that I use whenever I'm recording content for you guys. So if you guys are new to the channel and would really like to see the videos that I create, all you have to do is go through the, the channel. You see, I do a lot of lighting instructional videos. So this is where I connect my, my peripherals like the Atomos Ninja V, which I will show you guys in a bit. And the lens that I have connected to this one is my 24 to 70 2.8 GM. Now, of course, I also have some extra lenses here. I have the 90 millimeter 2.8 macro. And one of my favorite lenses, the 85 millimeter 1.4 GM. Okay, so those are the things that I use for photography that's inside this bag. So now what's there for video? Of course, I've got my Atomos Ninja V. This Atomos Ninja V is the one that I connect to my camera that allows me to record a live feed so that I can give you guys a first-hand experience of what it is that I am actually shooting. And I connect it using this one. It's a small rig. Um, I actually forgot what they call this, but it's, it's something from small rig. I just attach it here and then I attach it on top of my camera like so. Wait, let me show you. I attach it on top of my camera like this and there we go. So that's my rig. And then from there, I also have my main mic, my main lapel, which is the Sennheiser. I honestly forgot the model of this one, but it's a Sennheiser. And I was able to buy this thing from, I think a company called Bubble Bee or something like that. It allows me to attach it here and not have any of the hissing or cracking noise that's usually associated with lapels now or with the with the shirt actually moving around then i have here it's just a basic tape it's a medical tape for it to attach to my body 
And then I also have another mic. This one I'm testing, the Saramonic Blink 500, uh, Blink Pro 500. I need another mic primarily because this Ninja V doesn't record audio. So in other words, or it doesn't have a built-in mic and it cannot pick up the audio from the HDMI cable of my camera because whenever I am recording, I am not on video mode. I am actually on photo mode. So it doesn't transmit audio via HDMI. Therefore, I have to put this particular, uh, well, this is the receiver. I put the receiver here and I attach it. Well, I put the receiver mounted here. Again, the receiver is mounted here. And then it's attached directly to the Atomos Ninja so that it's very easy for me to edit the videos because I can just sync the audio. So I have my Atomos, uh, sorry, my Saramonic here. And then with the Saramonic, of course, it also has like, attachments for a lapel and everything so that's here then i've got my cases also from think tank this is where i keep my fc batteries i have about six i think and then where are the rest of the batteries or oh, here here's some, the batteries and this is an extra think tank case for some reason i don't know why this is here you know what i have to remove this i don't need that anymore that's for a cf card and then I have my H&Y Revering filter. This one is when I use whenever I'm shooting outside and I'm using my speed lights and I just want to shoot within my flash sync speed. This is a very ND with a CPL filter. I've actually done a review about this one already, so you can check it out in the channel. Then of course, I've got the HDMI to HDMI connector, which is for this one. Well, when I'm using the 7.4 and I also have the other one, I think it's a micro HDMI so that I connect my 7R4 to this one. And then, of course, I've got two NPF 960s or 970 batteries. These are 970 batteries, the NPF 970 batteries that I use to power my Atomos Ninja V. And lastly, I have this one. This is my... Well, it's an Allen wrench. It's a portable Allen wrench kit, which I need all the time to attach and detach stuff. Then I have my SD card holder. This is the official SD card holder from Think Tank also. Oh, by the way, this video is not sponsored by Think Tank. I just do love their products, but I just don't depend on the local distributor. But internationally, they give fantastic, um, they give fantastic support, which I've experienced when I complained about this bag i think or another bag and they immediately sent me the replacement parts for me to be able to repair it so fantastic warranty internationally um the cards that i use of course are my sony tough cards these are nine some of it are in the cameras that are recording now and then that's basically what's in this area but i also have here uh, a bunch of extra let me show you a bunch of extra SD cards here. A bunch of extra SD cards, but these ones are the non-UHS2 cards and non-tough cards just in case. So you'll never really know when you will need that, that much memory. I'm shooting with the R4, so they are um, a bit heavy on memory. So that's why I always have this one just in case. And I have an extra holder for my spider holster, which is something that's very essential to me. And then here in this pocket here, I have two LED lights that I bring with me all the time just in case I need it. These are the M200Rs. This is from Photix. Basically, this is an RGB light that has a built-in battery. And the nice thing about this one, that you can also charge your phone. It could serve as a charger. It's got a USB port here. And it's an RGB light. In other words, I can make it different colors and the usual... Um, uh, sorry, bicolor light from from warm to cool. And I have two perfect for product shots or when you're shooting at night that you just need a little bit of light there in front of your face. Okay, so basically that's what's inside my camera bag and that's why I love this particular bag. I have everything that I need. You see how much I was able to fit into this small bag. This one will actually fit on top of the, as a carry-on luggage. Um, no one will really know that it, it's this heavy and at the same time it's got really good lifetime warranty internationally of course and uh, basically that's it so this is my camera kit now oh by the way let's do something extra let me put this down 
Let me put this camera back down and show you my lighting bag. My lighting bag is on with this old think tank. This is the, called the Speed Racer. And you can see that I actually destroyed the handle already of this one, which reminds me, I should actually report this to think tank. Maybe they could do something about it. So this Speed Racer contains all my flash units, but here on the side, I have two Photix Cerberus and the, and the mounts. Then inside the bag, that's why I love this. It's so simple. I have my four speed lights. One, two, this is the Sony F60 RM. Then I have my WRC1M here. And of course, two Sony F45 RMs. So basically I have four lights in this kit. And then I have a bunch of batteries here, also in think tank containers. These batteries are my AA batteries. Really cool, right? Yes, but I'm not sponsored by Think Tank. I really just do love the products that they have. Well, I did love the products that they have, but I don't remember the last time I actually bought because I bought a lot when I was starting out in photography and until now, I still haven't replaced them. Though, my ba camera backpack, everyday camera backpack is this one. This is my Peak Design. Um, that This is a 20 liter because I can fit a laptop and just one camera in here. This is what I take with me whenever I just pack light. Okay? So... Basically, that's it. So if you have any questions with regards to some of the equipment that I have here in this video, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And I hope you did enjoy this very simple video. And if you did, please do consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. And while you're at it, click that notification bell and, and, um, so that uh, you get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, if you want to see some of the images that I've created with all this equipment, feel free to follow me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay? Till the next video.